Welcome back to EWA Monday Madness. My name is Ted Stryker. This is your weekly professional wrestling entertainment show of the week you all have been looking for. And we bring you back with one match and one match tonight. And I can only tell you it's going to be a banger. But Justin Stone takes on Katayama. And here we go to kick things off. And we're going to get mad and get wild. And we're already in a heck collar and elbow tie up. Grabbing the arm. Bending the wrist and elbow back and back again with stony control. A very technical side of both of these superstars. Here we go. End of the ropes. Back. Oh, shoulder tackle to take down Justin Stone. And wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, end of the knee to stop the momentum of Yuta Katayama. End of a pin. Think he's going to get it. Two. Not even that. Only gets him a one count. And Katayama in his own version of a leverage pin. To get a one count from the corner. Wait a minute. Here we go. My God. The height and velocity. Hell, that man was flying to hit the Hurricanrana. From the top rope. And oh, trapped himself. Found himself in a pickle. Both of these superstars equally matched up inside the ring. Determined and destined. And making it their journey to be your king of wrestling. Of 2021. <clears throat> Had a wild list from the start. And that wild list is going to continue. As we, as we finish off the King of Wrestling Tournament at EWA Crossfire this Sunday. Don't miss out. Out on one of the most wildest pay-per-views of the year. As I say that for every pay-per-view, it's just true. It's damn true that pay-per-views 
just get better. More wild, more mad, more crazy, and speaking of mad, my god! Sunset Flip attempted the pin, but said no way, lifting him up with the strength into a sit-out powerbomb, two and only a one. Bit of a suplex from Cop Down, but no. Countered by Stone, countered by Stone, into a teardrop suplex. <laughs> into the corner. And into the knee. The knee seems to be the go-to of Justin Stone. And as we've seen from the beginning of this matchup, it was used very effectively into a diving foot stomp. One, two, and three, no! And do a submission hold. Triangle armbar. Gonna make him tap out. But fighting out of it. Justin Stone with a MMA background. Welcoming himself recently. And professional wrestling. Been very impressive. Since switching over from MMA. To EWA professional wrestling. And I can see a bright future in this in this superstar. But I can see about many, many more. As I welcome myself with your commentator of every evening and every show. BMIW EWA Monday Madness. And don't forget your very favorite Minor House every Thursday. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! I thought he was going to go for some sort of neck breaker, but I think he changed it up mid-move. And went for the big boot for the, to the side of the head. Now a more technical side coming out of these two. Focusing on the arm. But speaking of big moves and big shows at EWA Crossfire, Austin Aries has no official opponent at Crossfire, but he must defend the championship once a month, meaning he has opened a challenge for any superstar backstage or anybody in the entire world willing to show up and show Austin Aries what a challenge really is, well in his eyes, he never has been challenged. Everything has just been nothing but easy. Because in his eyes, he is the ultimate ace of professional wrestling. But into a headlock driver could be it to end the match and only a one again. Oh, here we go, here we go. We're going outside. And hype, oh! Through the ropes, drop kick. The speed and momentum. And using the steel barricade to his advantage. And going up top, maybe looking for that diving footstop. 
I think he's looking for it. Nope, setting him up. From the top, and down he goes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Power bomb. Katayama seen that coming from a mile away. It took advantage. Into a Topa Tomiko. And he planned with a pump handle gourd buster. Maybe to end the match, but he knows it's not going to be enough. He knows. He knows. Another headlock driver. And wait a minute. Not done yet. A second. These two are, are willing to stop at nothing. To advance to EWA Crossfire. And maybe one of them will become your King of Wrestling of 2021. And the knees put to good use again. I don't know about you, but this has to be match of the damn year. I really see Coxie on the fly. Nope, keeping the match inside the ring. Ducking under. Oh, into a heel kick. And another one. But Justin Stone just powering out of it and fighting the pain of a devastating heel kick. But wait, here we go. Into a running blockbuster. And from the top, diving foot stomp from his own. Taking advantage into an air raid neckbreaker. Both superstars targeting their opponent's necks more than anything else. I'm not sure these two want to win the match than more end their opponent's career. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're flying again. We're flying again to the outside. The momentum. The momentum. Used against Justin Stone. Caught with a, with a forearm in the face. Into a rolling elbow. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Snapmer, oh! Big boot drop kick. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Even more devastating than a big boot. My God! Spinning heel kick. Any more momentum or speed or impact than that might have just decapitated the man! And. Didn't seem to land far enough. (laughs) 
And why are you setting it up? Setting it up to end the match. Setting it up. Psych them out with a night fetch chop. End of a hurricane running to take down Katayama. And again, another pump handle. Guard Buster. At this point, anyone to hit their finisher is going to have to be the end of the freaking match. Because this is pure back and forth professional wrestling. You all came to EWA Wrestling to witness. And here we go, that kick. Setting him up. Springboard. Neckbreaker to take him down. Two, and again, yet to hear that two count. He's setting it up again, hanging him on the ropes with more speed and momentum on that knee strike this time. Going up, think he's going to end the match with a diving foot stomp once again. Is he going to land it? Is he going to land it? No! No, it doesn't land it! Doesn't land it! Into a fatal suplex! Rolling elbow to knock him out. Now, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. As I said, as I said. One person is fisherman and the match is over. The match is over. Katayama. With the fisherman buster. Knows it's not enough. Going to try for it again. And both superstars taken down and they're out. Katayama crawling for the three count. Two and three. No. Two point nine seconds. Determination is real. This is no longer competition. This is a real fight of survival. And setting it up from behind. Knee to the face. Into a discus clothesline. Just unloading in anger. On Kadayama with the fist in form of the face. I think Stone has had enough trying to find new ways to innovate and change the way he's gone on the offense of his matchup to end Kadayama. I think he's going wait a minute, I think he was going for it, but changed it into the chuck gun knee strike into the corner. But here we go, he's not done yet. Oh, into a forearm! Moving out of the way! Perfect time to bring back off it for Katayama! And from the top, Avalanche! Falcon Arrow! Another heel kick, but again, doesn't sell it. It's going to take a lot more to take out. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Speaking of taking out, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, through the ropes! Through the ropes! The corner! Bottom rope! Drop kick! May not be that impressive or effective, but it gets the job done. And to a foot time of his own again. 
all of Katayama finds a diving footstop effective in his arsenal? Or he just mocking Justin Stone in his own version of the diving footstomp? And here we go, fired up Katayama! Not letting his guard down just yet! The momentum of this match! The energy in this room! The crowd can't even sit down for five seconds and let take a drink of their beverage or a nibble of their freaking popcorn or Subway for that damn matter. Whatever the hell we have in this damn building, I don't really care. Everybody just believes this is a match of the year candidate. The gnarly grit of both these superstars. And to the outside goes flying. Here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A new new form of offense from Kata Yama from the apron. Into a knee. Here's a pin to end the match, but is it enough? And working on the arm. Changing the offense and style. But maybe you might want to slow down your opponent. Being that both superstars use the speed and momentum to keep themselves alive. To where the arm may not be the place to focus on. As the leg might just be an into a brain buster to end the match. One impact. Two. Three. No. But as I was saying, may want to focus on the legs of your opponent. A target in the arm with a kind of mutilation, but doesn't get held in that long. It seems to be Kadayama was too familiar with the mutilation. Denying the effect of Justin Stone to make him tap out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Another fisherman buster. Could be the end of the match. But I'm not sure Kadiyama wants to w finish the match just yet. I think he knows it wasn't enough. Just wanted to make something use something as arsenal that's effective against Stone. And that fishing buster seems to be as effective as he finally lands a diving foot stomp. But the intentions at this point. I can't figure it out. Wait a minute. Went for a pump handle suplex. But cut into a scorpion death drop in a way that another another one. 
knee to the face into a discus to take out Katayama from the top Mindy going for that diving foot stop of his own once again no a shooting star press this time And innovating with the spinning kick. Finally lands to take him out. And we're going to the outside. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is Kotem going to try it again? Failing the last time. Going for an outside dive. Decides not to do it this time. But had the chance of his lifetime. Ducking under. And wait a minute. Attempting something. But countered it. Katayama seen it ahead of time. And wait a minute. Oh. Justin Stone seems to be favoring the knee in this matchup. As it seems to be working, but at the same time, it's not enough for either of these two. And what's in their arsenal is to keep their opponent down for the three count. The closest we've had is Katayama pinning Justin Stone after the Fishman Buster for the two. And the Brain Buster from Justin Stone. One... Two and three and no. Just barely kept out. And the combination setting him up into a power bomb position. Buckle bomb. That's a good thing that turnbuckle pad wasn't exposed. To finish him off with the DDT. Going up top. That foot stop is ready. He's going to land it. This time, no! Psyched him out. I think he knew better. The brain bust is more effective. And wait a minute, no! Went for the brain bust, but caught down a funny way back in it. Funny way back. Combinational kicks back and forth with a drop kick, drop kick, opportunity. No, drop kick of his own. And to the else awesome we go, but no! Justin Stone, payback from earlier! In it with Japanese arm drag! And the momentous drop kick! Possible match fit with a diving push up again. Yet to connect it. I think Cop Diana knows once he lands that diving foot stop, it's game over at that point, buddy. And end of an elbow.
Went for the Tiger Super. That's what they got him a one count. Still, both superstars seem to be too fresh in this matchup. But we've been going on for 30 minutes already. And I mean, yes, we've been going 30 straight minutes. In the match of the night, in the match of the show, I should be saying... Wait a minute. Here we go, here we go. Modified Hammerlock Suplex. Into a backside driver. One and again. I don't think Katayama or Justin Stone believe either one of these superstars. Have continued for 30 straight minutes, not even given up or slowed down the match pace or the momentum or even energy that they have left. What did they freaking do? Did, uh, what, did they just come back to from drinking a, what, a, a gallon of monster energy? Did they drink a bunch of Red Bull? What the hell did these two drink to keep them fighting? And energized and into a diving force jump on the outside, but wait a minute. He may have taken himself out and missed the target. I'm not entirely sure. But he may have knocked himself out with his own freaking momentum. But gets back in the matchup. Back into the ring we go. And what a combination to knock out Kodayama! <laughs> End of the ropes. Ooh, roundhouse kick countered. Way ahead of the ball game, Kadayama. Only a one wasn't enough. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, what a kick. Maybe it was a knee, I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I felt an impact from here. From the middle rope, DDT. There's that forearm, finally connects. Going up top. Setting him up for the frog splash. But gets the knees up. Back and forth with what they have left in this 30 minute bout. <clears throat> now, targeting the arm. Oh, they tend to break the arm and brutalize his opponent.
Setting him up. Setting. Wait a minute. 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 Buzz killer. Buzz killer. Buzz killer gonna make his opponent tap. He's gonna tap. Doesn't give up just yet. Refuses to give up to a buzz killer. Kanayama tried to make his opponent tap as an element of surprise to win the match, but it just wasn't enough. Wait a minute! DDT! DDT! And pure frustration! One more Brain Buster has got to be it! One! Two! Three and Justin Storm moves out of the tournament! 